Hey everybody, it's Gamalad, and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. In the last episode, we watched one of we watched Ford's friendship event, and in this episode, today is the Animal Festival, meaning we'll be spending most of our time well seeing if we can win the Animal Festival. I think with the in the beginners class, we should have a a good shot at winning. Um, I think. I mean, I will be a bit embarrassed if we lose the beginners class. Um, let's see, how many hearts does Carm even have? She can't animal notebook. Uh, holy cow, she's almost, <laughs> no pun intended, but she's almost at max affection for us, but she's a bit stressed. Huh. Maybe I forgot to feed her, no, uh, come in and brush her for a day or so, that could be why, or I forgot to milk her. Um, while off screen, what I mostly do is do some part-time jobs and some farming stuff. You didn't really miss too much. Mainly because um, I have all my, my, my all my fields are full, so it was basically me watering all the plants, and there's really not much to um, to see there for that. So uh, yeah, and after the animal festival, I think my goal was going to be to um, build a second barn or buy the materials for a bigger barn. I think I think at this point I'm just gonna outright buy the materials because well, you know it's it just seems a bit more practical for this at this point because it seems like wood right now is a lot harder to obtain than it was in the previous game. In the other game, there were, like, in the previous Story of Seasons game, um, there were trees everywhere to gain wood, and why can't I find my my pitchfork? Holy cow. Okay. Um, but yeah. And in this game, for some reason, it's a bit more difficult? I don't know why. But I'm wondering who I should enter in this contest. Karm, or, oh. Uh, one, two, three. I'm sorry, Nugget! Oh, frick, I haven't been here in a while. Uh, how are you? Four. I haven't visited Nugget in four days. Oh, that doesn't seem, uh... But Nugget has the least stress and likes me the mo li likes seems to like me more than, um... Um, Karm does right now. So, I think we're going to let our real estate Mongol Nugget, uh, enter the, the festival for us today. And then Nugget will bring home the goods. Or the bacon, even though we, we don't have any pig on this farm, but still. Um, so, yeah. Also... Yes, I discovered that tomatoes, um, or that, okay, I didn't do it too soon. Um, the regrowable crops, actually, you have to wait a few days before you can actually harvest them. Well, you can harvest them the day of, but to get their full potential, you have to, you have to wait it out a bit. So, yeah, we got that, uh, taken care of. So, yeah, vine crops, a bit more interesting in this time around, and I think, I think you only have to wait, like, three or four days? And instead of getting nine as you would in previous games, you would actually get like eleven or twelve of those. So that's something really cool to um, keep in mind for when you're when you're farming these things. So um, so yeah. Now I'm just trying to think of what to talk about now. <laughs> um, I will say this though. Um, I'm going into the second half of my semester in school right now, and I'm kind of slipped behind in my studies. So. What I'm going to end up doing, because I'm on spring break right now, is I'm going to be spending most of my spring break, or the rest of it, recording Story of Seasons and hopefully get the review ready to go soon as well, to go up um, next week. Um, so that means most of these episodes you're going to be seeing are pre-recorded, so we'll be able to see, you know, your comments about what, what it may have happened in the last episode. So, if I, me if I mess up in, in the next week's, next few episodes or so, um, I'm going to I'm gonna pray that I figure out where I done goof and fix it myself. So, yeah. Um, but it's, it's just that I've got quite a bit of school stuff that i got to um, go through, and it's a bit of a pain. But, you know, I want to be able to continue doing good in, good in my classes and continue to have good grades and finish my degree. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to go to the festival because I'm off to pass out. I'd rather go participate in the festival than pass out. Oh, wait a minute. I have vegetables to cook. I can make I can make dinners, or, well, I can cook stuff with my tomatoes. Also off screen, I've been gifting a lot of stuff to people, mainly just flowers and other little trinkets around for people to, um, to give to them. Uh, my goal is to, um, at some point, ooh, herb soup, um, is to basically at some point, um, oh, so that's those are the better tomatoes, interesting, okay. Um, oh, no toppings for that. That's fine. We're gonna make about, uh, five of those. But, um, what was I saying? Holy crap, I lost, tr I lost complete track of what I was about to say. Must not have been that important. Oh, yeah, I think I was talking about other things, like gifting stuff to people off screen. Just, like, trinkets and stuff. I'm gonna start gifting some better, re um, stuff soon. But no events were missed. Nothing at all were missed. Um, again, it's a bit redundant for me to show us a lot of the part-time jobs, since most of them are just delivering things from, um, spot A to spot B, 
and chopping wood and becoming one of Ford's experiments for his medicine. So yeah, uh, what time can we start this? Okay, between 10 a.m. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I can go to Lulu Coco and get, get a snack while I wait for that. I don't remember if the, what time they open. Uh, I guess the restaurants are closed. Actually, I kind of wonder if a lot of places are closed on festivals. I also want to know when are we going to start getting um, town exclusive festivals? Because I do know in the future, there are going to be festivals exclusive to only certain towns. Um, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we inevitably get to it, I guess. Alright, so there are clothes over there, I think. So no getting any food for now. Yeah, no food for me right now. Uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll, I'll treat myself to winning this festival uh, with, with a bite to eat afterwards. Um, so I think the format I'm gonna go, though, from now on, when there's some more downtime, is that since it's easier to befriend everyone than in the previous games, um, I'm going to be showing off a lot more of the, of the friendship events, because those are really cool things in this game to do on the side of your farming stuff. Um, and so it'll get to a point where in the future where, like, where there's long gaps between any real progress, where it'll be just nothing but, you know, me doing some farming stuff for a little bit, uh, and then showing a friendship event, and we'll just have to go from there in a format like that. Don't worry, I won't be cutting out all the farming stuff, I mean, because, um, you know, there's still some, there's still some novelty to just going around farming and talking to you guys while you go through it. Anyway, hello, Miss MC. Yes, we shall, go, we shall be in the beginner's class. I forgot to mention this, but, th but there's a prize if you win, so please open up a space in your inventory bag. Oh, are you serious? Okay, um, alright, we'll just drink this milk. There we go. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're, gonna, we're going to bring in Nugget. Yeah, less stress. Nugget's happy. Let's do it. You're participating in the bigger class with Nugget, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Let's go see the event space. Alright, Nugget, don't let me down because you're a three-star manager who can bring me in the money. Oh, everyone's here for this event. Okay. Ahem! We will now be starting the beginner class animal festival. Let's now let's have our contestants come on up. All right, cool. Let's get this started. We all know Nugget, the Yakuza chicken, will win. That's actually a cute-looking chicken. Our first contestant is Sarah from Epoch Farm. Epoch, Epoch. Yeah. Imagine Poch, the developer. So I guess it's similar like that. Oh, uh, rest in peace to them. Oh, okay. They have twins. Continuing with our second contestant, Mat uh, Matsu from Relief Ranch. Well, I bet coming here was a massive relief for that chicken. I don't know, that joke was kind of bad and out of place. Is everyone bringing the same chicken but me? <laughs> our third contestant is Tumbaga from Pilani Farm. I don't know. I... I Watching my Let's Plays, you have to, you're accepting the term of service. I'm gonna butcher every name possible. And here we go, the Yakuza. And our last contestant is Pat from Gamma Farm. Yep, and with my Yakuza looking chicken. <laughs> now that our contestants are all present and accounted for, I'd like to call up the judge. The judge for this year is none other than this man, the animal trainer Woofio. Oh, hi, Woofio. Hello, everyone. I'm Woofio, and I'll be your judge. Woof. I'm doggone happy to be here. That voice is going to be very hard to maintain. I don't have any water with me in this recording. GG. And with that, I'd like to enter the judging period. All right, cool. Who's a good animal? You are. Are you talking to Sarah or the chicken? Because you're not saying you weren't saying at the chicken. <laughs> hmm. This one's a total woofer, I guess. Who's a good animal? You are. Oh, that's just really horrible. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Who's a good? <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird. Since the judging period appears to be over, it's time for the moment everyone's been waiting for. The results presentation. And the winner of the Summer Beginner Class Animal Festival is... Hey! Congratulations!
congratulations, Pat from Gamma Farm. Yes. <laughs> All right, Nugget, I knew we could do it. I'll pay you later. In second place is Sarah from Epoch Farm. In third place is Tumbaga from Palani Farm. And in fourth place is Matsu from Relief Ranch. That's all the results. Man, that's a total relief that we won. <laughs> oh boy, because if we had lost the beginner's class, that would've been pretty embarrassing. No, that would've been truly embarrassing. Because then we have to go into the fall, uh, or whatever the next animal festival is, on the beginner circuit. So, that's fun for no one. I wish to congratulate everyone who came out to compete today. And now, for the award ceremony. Could the winner, Pat, please come forward? I better get a good prize this time. Don't give me that RNG stuff. Congratulations, you're the top dog this time. Here's your prize, a mighty tonic. Keep up the hard work. Uh, thanks, Wiffio. I got medicine. Now I'll be prepared to see comments saying, oh, but I got this, it's worth this amount of money. Since you won the competition, your chicken brand has risen to bronze. From now on, your chicken's bride product shipping price will rise a little. Work hard and ship as much as you can. All right, neat. And with that, it's time to close, close out the Summer Animal Festival. See you again next time. All right, cool. So we won, nice. All right, so who do we talk to to build our friendship up with? If they still do that, you talk to someone after you win. There's, there don't seem to be any any around here, but there, there's a bird called the long-tailed fowl. They look a lot like chickens, and they're amazing. Their bodies are like chickens, but their tails are three meters long. Amazing, right? Three meters! But does it ever get caught on things, being that long? That's a good question. Congratulations on winning, okay. So yeah, we won. Uh, anyone else want to congratulate us? Chickens sure do wake up early. Not too not too long ago, I got up early to get the shop ready, and it was just as, just as the sky was starting to get up bright when I heard the chickens calling out. How do they manage to wake up early like it's nothing? All right, what about uh, you two? You did it, all the hard work paid off. Okay, thanks. Don't you think quail eggs are too small? It's like they break before you even pick, pick one up. I've heard quail eggs, wait, were those quails they had and I had a chicken? Yeah. I do know quail, quail eggs I've heard have a better texture. Uh, what's up, Ford? Night blindness is more serious than some might think. Consuming vitamin A is said to be a good way to prevent it. But a chicken's vision won't improve no matter how much vitamin A you give it. It isn't an illness or any such thing, it's that's just how their eyes function. Uh, thanks, Ford. Oh, what about you, Wayne? Chickens are adorable, but it's kind of a bummer how quickly they grow up. Sure, they're cute as adults too, but it's just sad that it's just sad about how fast that goes. All right, and you, Ludus? Congratulations on the win. What was it just my imagination, or did you seem pretty unconcerned on the whole competition? I mean, when you got a Yakuza chicken, you know, it's it's, it's gonna it's gonna go easy. Now, I know I'm getting these, just, that joke is dying, but you know what? Nugget's an awesome character in Yakuza Zero. I'm gonna make as many Nugget jokes as I can. There, that's the nugget of truth behind it. Okay, I guess everyone wants to talk to you, so let's head on out. Uh, will you go home? Yes, I shall. So now our egg brands are worth more than they were before, which is nice. And we're still about to pass out, and it's about 4 p.m., and I don't think all my plants are watered. No, they're not. But I do have some tomato dishes on, on hand with me. So what I'm going to do is um, we're just going to eat two of them and see what happens. Okay, that brought me a nice amount of hearts. Oh, okay, almost full. Nice. All right, so we're gonna water these guys down here. And then after that, we're gonna call it a day, move on, because I do not really know if any places are open right now. I mean, I can probably run the West Town real fast and see um, if anything does happen. Um, but if not, I'm probably gonna have to cut ahead until something else does indeed happen. Well, no, not true, because we're gonna go build a second barn and we're gonna go finish, some, um, finish up that farming tip and get a second cow on our farm. Now, I know I was, I was taking suggestions for animal names down in the comment section below, but none of you, as far as I remember, no one gave me an idea for cows. Sheeps and chickens, yeah. Uh, but not a cow, and unfortunately, the farming tip requires another cow. So, yeah. I'll give 74,000 gold. I'm not sure um, I'll have enough money to actually straight out, straight out buy an upgrade for the um, for the bigger barn, but I think I can, I can come pretty close. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all, I'm gonna ship out our stuff for the day, and then we're going to um get a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, we'll ship these ones out. Why'd I do it that way? I'll never know. Um, ship these eggs out. My eggs are really good quality. Shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna ship out for right now. The um other things I have in the bottom of my inventory are things I get I gift to people randomly. So I do gift a lot of things to people off screen. Um, it, when I start getting my fine gifts for people that for items that people really like, I'll mention I'll make note of what they are when um on screen. But mostly I just give like small trinkets to people and see what they like really. All right, and uh, not much not much gold for those tomatoes. I like the I like to hope that maybe they don't get that much because they'll grow back. Yep, they'll start growing back pretty fast. All right, cool. Oh, we got mail. Nice. Who, who mailed us? All right, let's see. Oh, by the way, recently, Lynn's been acting weird. She's been coming home late, and when I ask why, she refuses to answer. She also shuts herself up in her room for long periods of time. Perhaps she has a boyfriend. No, I don't think about, I don't think that's it. Anyway, it's nothing for you to worry about. Focus on your work. You're telling me my little sister is sad about something, and you're telling me not to worry about it. Maybe she misses us. Who knows? All right. So new animal stuff is in stock right now. New outfits. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, nothing really major is coming on. Um, okay, our watermelons are growing at a nice pace. Should probably buy some more fertilizer for them down there. I know. I I'm trying to remember. Um, what the requirement was for the watermelon things. I know I've been doing a lot of the juiciness, but I forgot. I think it was juiciness in color. So I need to probably buy some fertilizer to do this color for these type of um, things. All right, so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and start watering some crops here. Also, I kind of realized what's the point of selling farm circles back to Ludus to get materials back. Because if I have to buy a second barn, but at some point in time I can create a bigger barn, I guess it'd be it'd be beneficial just to, you know sell the old the smaller barn back to him. And get some of those materials back to create an even a bigger and better farm. So that makes sense on that half. Anyway, I should probably, I should probably let my uh, let Carm out to graze because she may still be a bit stressful. Um, but besides that, nothing else is really happening right now. We're you know enjoying a nice summer's day while I stare outside at all the snow that we got in the middle of the spring. Uh, so, but thankfully we didn't get hit too bad up here. I'm in the Midwest, not in the not on the on uh, the East Coast. So it wasn't too bad, but we just stood in for a day or so. It was pretty chilly, but hey, um, thankfully we have central heating. Um, actually, for the longest time, my house didn't even have central heating. We just got it installed in our house, so that was a huge, uh, <laughs> a huge help. And uh, yeah, what I've been doing mostly this with my spring break is just recording story of seasons. Um, due to a few things like some other stress-related issues, I really haven't had time to just sit down and binge record like I really want to. So I have a nice backlog of episodes to um, have up for you guys because that's my downfall of Let's Playing. I, I love Let's Playing this game. Like, this game is, like, relaxing to play. It's very enjoyable. But, um... It's very enjoyable, but I just, you know, lack energy and motivation. Do a lot of, do a lot of problems I've been having lately. But hopefully, in time, those will be fixed. Um, like, right now, I'm currently looking for a new job. To, um, and I'm in place of my current one. I can't really go into too many details as to why I'm doing that because I'm still employed at my current job, um, and I I would like to keep that job if you know my new employment I'm looking forward to may uh, fall through. But um, that's besides the point. Um, that's just what I'm looking at right now. Like I said earlier in the video, my semester is um is coming to the halfway point, so I'll be doing a lot of school stuff to um, try and catch up to my work. Word of advice to all my fellow viewers who may be in college right now or in high school and going into college. Do yourself this solid favor. Um, do not put everything off to the second eight weeks of the semester. Um, hit the ground running and you'll be just fine. I've learned that the hard way every semester. I do poorly and slack off in the first part of it. And then I have to, I'm struggling to play catch up in the second half of the semester. And I normally I do catch up. Um, I don't have the grades I could have had. I get usually B's and C's from doing that. Um, but I feel like if I, you know, applied myself more at the beginning of the semester and then coasted towards the end, I probably could have finished my semester with, you know, B's and A's. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try, I'm gonna have to try fixing that. But I think a lot of that has to do with some, some issues I've been going with that I won't go much into right now. But that's a, that's a, that's a bit of a, <laughs> a look into my psyche and my life lately. Um, 
I knew playing this game would turn the series into a mini-vlog type series, and some of you do enjoy that, and I appreciate that. It gives me a little chance to just talk about my day and uh, play some games for you guys. But um, there are some times this is, a, this is a Let's Play, and I want to make some um, progress in it. I think that was the problem with my other Story of Seasons Let's Play, is that I didn't really fully embrace the, uh, yeah, just talk whatever comes to your mind part of it. But then when I tried to, I wouldn't have really many things to talk about, so it just kind of fell by the wayside when I did most of that type of stuff. But, you know, I guess that's just really how it, you know, how it uh, boils down by the end of the day. Um, actually, I probably should have gone to Lukoko first to buy materials for, um, my farm to get an idea of what's, what's going on there. Also, what is my town rank looking like? Okay, we're almost in an E rank. I'm sorry, a C rank with West Town. Uh, not get, not doing too good with the other two towns. I'm going to have to try and step up my game when it comes to shipping to them. I may have to just have Lukoko rely on me gifting people to the locals in part-time jobs and have the other town focus more so with uh, shipping because we are getting close to the fall and apparently I have to get uh, um, Yukusuki or whatever it's called um, to about a C rank, or to, sorry, to a D rank to unlock sweet potatoes. And like I've always mentioned, oh, a thin line between genius and stupidity. Okay. The restaurant's supposed to be open, but where is everybody? I would actually come in here to get something to eat and give something to Brad, but okay. Um. Oh. Oh, Pat, hello. Sorry, but Brad's out with a cold. I was planning on closing up shop today, but... Ford just came by to check on check on, on him a moment ago. Oh? Ha! <laughs> ha! Really hot now. How could you possibly let things get this bad before noticing you had you had a fever? I guess that old saying about idiots never catching colds is false. You're a real jerky, you know that? Brad, I'm pretty sure it's because Ford's your best friend and he cares about you. Enough sass. Medicine, please. <laughs> Fear not, I am not just any doctor, I am an excellent one. This fever doesn't stand a chance against me. Take a look at this. It's a new fever medicine that I developed called True Relief. Is that the medicine you had me testing? If you drink this, the virus inside you will be eliminated and your temperature should drop immediately. However, sweet, give me that. Ah! Uh, he said, however. All right, I drank it all. Hmm? Oh? Uh-oh. Oh! I can feel my temperature dropping! And something amazing welling up! I have the power! Oh, no. Uh, Ford? What's wrong with him? Yeah, Ford. That didn't happen when I drank it. Mm, I was still in the middle of my explanation. Yes, it's true that if you drink this, your cold will go away al almost immediately. But it still hasn't been tested. So if you ex exceed the, the dosage, there's a chance you might become too energized. Ah, Energizer, Energizer XL. That was the medicine from the other older games. Still, I wasn't expecting him to just start sprinting around. I'll have to rethink the composition. Um, won't he relapse? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. You're pretty knowledgeable about this stuff yourself, hmm? Well, I mean, it's true. It's that medicine would make him relapse. But if we just leave him to run around until he collapses, his fever will probably come back. That would just put us back to square one. I'm sorry, but could you go apprehend him? All right, I'll try. Brad? Brad? Where are you? Ah, Pat! <laughs> Help! Uh, what's wrong, dude? Oh! Well, that's one way to solve it. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. You really saved my butt. I forgot that while you're... The, while the guy's a total genius. He's also kind of a crackpot. 
You don't say. Alright, just get some rest, dude. He seems happy. Well done, Pack. He should get better eventually with some rest and relaxation. This is what he gets for not waiting to hear my explanation. Hopefully Brad will learn something from this. Oh, I like to hope so too. I have to say, I'm quite fortunate you are here. If you hadn't come, I wouldn't have been able to stop Brad. I can't run after all. Uh, you can't? Oh, why, if I ran, I'd sweat, correct? What other reason do I need? Uh, that's actually a good sign, Doc. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you this, but are you... Am I what? Ah, it looks like my suspicions were true. You've worked up quite the sweat from carrying Brad up here. Well, to be fair, I was kind of low on energy, so I kind of almost... That's why I came here to get food? It might not bother you now, but if you leave it as is, it'll eventually get worse. Uh, are you trying to insinuate something, Doc? Ha! Fear not! As I said earlier, I'm not just any doctor. Here, drink this. Will I get paid? I call it aspiration. It'll immediately get rid of that unwanted sweat. Well, I haven't yet tried it on a human subject, but... You would have had me just try it la last time. Wait! Come back! <laughs> Why do none of my friends ever wait until I finish talking? <laughs> well, Ford, you know what? Nah, that, I actually like that. That last line at the end, because... Oh, hi, Carrie. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, go on. But, yeah, I kind of like that at the end where, he, where Ford actually now considers us a friend. I think that's rather sweet. I really like that. But, um, yeah, I think that's why I really like these events, because you grow as a friend of a lot of people in town, and you bond with them a lot better. But, um, I think that's actually all the events for Ford, because, you know, we, we're not planning to romance him, because we're playing as the guy character, and I already know I'm going to romance, so... It's kind of a shame that, you know, even though, um, there are friendship events, I don't think they actually go further than that with, um, the opposite, with, with uh, the same gendered characters. Which is a bit upsetting, because I would like, I would like in the future for games to have set friendship events that are just, you know, the opposite of the, um, romance events. Just become better friends with these people. Um, maybe in time, the Story of Seasons series will evolve to that where you know, characters of the same gender, you can have those same type of interactions as you, as your romance, as your potential romance characters, but to become, you know, actual best friends with them. That's when I feel like the world building in this series will probably come uh, to a peak. But, that's besides the point. Um, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Trio of Towns, we will be, um, hopefully, finishing the farming tips in the next episode. Uh, the plan was to go to the, go and get something to eat and then, you know, get some materials and stuff, but I guess I'll do that off screen and see what I need. So I, I don't have to do the runaround of seeing what I need, what don't I have. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far, and be sure to check out future episodes in the series. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and stay a while. I have a lot of fun here together. And as always, everyone, this is Gamalad signing off.